Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Bob here, and welcome back to Shard Light. This is part two. Uh, and we're going to carry on. Now we've got... Um, go back and watch the first part if you haven't seen it. That's probably going to be the most sensible thing to do. But we're... We've just come out of the uh, of sorting the reactor out. I'm not the landscaper. I'll leave the weed pulling to someone else. Let's play the uh, let's play the mouse game. Where we'll obviously we click around on stuff to try to. Might look nice on my wall, but I'll leave it be for now. Uh, I think there's some wood down here. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. Wood in this condition is so tough to find. Okay, well, we've got some wood. Why do cultists even bother coming out here? <laughs> Lots of graffiti around. I don't want that as a souvenir. Okay. I wish there was a way to shut these things off permanently. Nothing useful in this wreck. So there are some sh there's a shard here. I don't need it. There are plenty of shards all over. This is shard light. I guess the the area they, they use shards as, as light. I guess seems, of course, seems the most logical, uh, logical explanation. Nothing in there but stagnant rainwater and raven droppings. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Hmm. It's be a raven. Well, that was interesting. I wonder why it lingered there. Is that? I wonder if that's um. I wonder if that's uh, I wonder if those ravens are spies or something. Let's go, let's go to my house first. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, the mortal souls he hurts. I can't get to the flowers. They're sealed up inside the booth. If you can't hear singing, but you okay. see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming. To take away the dead. <laughs> it's, well, it's well written. Hey guys, what's going on? Hi, Amy. That's a pretty scary rhyme you're saying, isn't it? Only if you're scared of the Reaper, like Jimmy. He saw a raven yesterday and peed his pants. Do you believe in the Reaper, Amy? The Reaper? Oh. No, it's just a story. Yeah, I don't get how people can be scared of something like that. Well, you're pretty brave, Tina. Yeah, I know. Where did you kids find that jump rope? Jimmy found it in a field behind his house. Pretty cool, huh? We haven't had something like this to play with in a long time. Yeah, it's pretty great. Can I have a turn? <laughs> how about letting me have a turn? <laughs> really? Sure, I was pretty good at jumping a rope when I was a kid. Well, okay. Last night and the night before, my lungs were feeling kind of sore. <laughs> Will they let me stay at home or put me in the quarantine zone? Mama, mama, I feel sick. Call the doctor quick, quick, quick. Doctor, doctor, will I die? Close your eyes and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still alive and on channel five. Well, that's, <laughs> that's a pretty, uh, pretty depressing. Okay, I think that's enough that's for me. That's a pretty depressing song as well. <laughs> so I guess when you're living in the apocalypse, maybe all you've got are depressing songs. Aren't you kids supposed to be in school? No, school got cancelled this week because our teacher got green lung. That's awful. Is she going to be okay? Dunno. She didn't look too sick, so maybe she'll be back soon. I hope she is. Miss Campbell is nice. I'd be sad if she got sent to the quarantine zone. I'm sure she'll be back next week. You'll see. Okay, I have to. I'll see you kids later. Bye. Sorry, kids thing to do. When the reaper comes around, he'll take that, uh, away your the, um, soul. I'd love Put to tear it down. His pocket, but it's practically and take you for a, a stroll. I reckon that rope's going to be useful. Red -eyed just, ravens. I don't want to they steal the, the kids' play. Uh, <laughs> the only art they've got to play with. It's nice to be home. I just wish I could forget about everything and stay in for the rest of the day. Okay, so this is the repair the garage, I guess. They're mostly broken, but I can't bring myself to throw them out. No, 
These tools are for restoration work only. I'm not risking damaging them out there. Okay. This was taken shortly after they were married. They look so happy. Well, she looks like her mom, I have to say. You're coming with me, Bucket. Okay, so now we've got a bucket. <laughs> Two photos here, was it? Oh, yeah. Not the most flattering angle, but it's a nice picture anyway. How do the kids are? Denby nice and to see not much has changed with these two. I can't hear that, eh? He was always so happy when we were fixing things together. What if they're brothers then? What if they're still alive? It's not in working condition. Oh, the, the motherboard fried a long time ago, and I haven't been able to find a new one anywhere. But that's the thing, you see, you find a new motherboard, then, you know, is it the right socket? Will the processor fit? Is it the correct RAM? Just a nightmare. Honestly, you've got no chance. It's not finished draining yet. Okay, so they're draining, we're draining all cans there. I've hit a dead end on this thing. Until I find the right parts, there's not much more I can do. It's empty. I haven't kept anything in there for years. It's interesting how the adventure games, things they choose, they allow you to click on. I guess it adds a bit of flavour, but... No time for that now. There are many things to click on. Well, I like just... looking at my childhood knickknacks. None of them will do me any good out there. So many things to click on, but some of them just don't... They just have got no, no purpose, to serve no purpose other than to add some... A bit of atmosphere and a bit, a bit of story, I guess. Uh, nothing here... That's cat. fine where it is. Okay. So we've picked up a bucket. Okay. We've picked up a bucket. The we've got a phone booth we can't get into. And repair. sends a head his burst. And closing it wouldn't really serve they much of a purpose. They let him know when someone well, dies, the mortal souls he hurts. Okay, if are. you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, I can't get to the, flowers. the Reaper They're will sealed be up coming the booth. to take away the dead. Okay. I quite like the little, sort of little, little bits you can go to. Let's go to the market district. This is where we need to find the guy to give the letter to, I believe. Gordon? I probably shouldn't mess around with that. Always people just wandering around, <laughs> going about their business. Let's talk to Gordon. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Are you feeling all right? It's strange to see you with a face mask. I'm okay. Just being careful. I saw my neighbor cough up blood the other day, so... What about your daughter? She's staying at a friend's house while I'm out during the day. I've got her wearing a cloth mask, too. I just wish I could get her something better, like an actual gas mask. It's only wearing the mask here, it just reminded me of, you know, you see people in, um, like, sort of, you know, kind of Asian, Eastern Asian, Southeast Asian countries, like Japan, for example, be wearing, wearing face masks. And when I first saw them, I thought they were wearing them so they didn't want to catch anything, but apparently they wear them out of politeness when they're unwell, so no one else catches what they've got, which is quite, quite interesting. Business doing okay, Gordon? Could be better. Could always be better. I'm getting desperate, thinking of taking a lottery job. I just came from doing one myself, actually. No kidding. I was starting to wonder where you'd been lately. Who for? Tiberius. Oof. I don't envy you there. But I meant who was the vaccine for? Oh, I just thought it might be good to have some. Just in case, you know? That's not a bad idea at all. And you're young enough that those jobs make sense. I don't think I'm cut out for energy work myself. I'd probably go to resources and maybe knowledge. Lottery jobs are still lottery jobs, Gordon. I don't think they get any easier based on ministry. You're probably right. Well, I hope I sell a lot today, then. How's the Quicksilver restoration going, by the way? Slowly, as always. Still looking for those elusive parts. Well, I wish you luck. I'm always on the lookout for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Interesting. She she kind of she's a bit wary of telling people who who the stuff's for. Um, at first, I thought it was because she didn't want 
people to feel that she was just selfishly trying to get some for herself because she had suddenly realised that she was she was ill. But I guess um, I guess she um, yeah, I guess she just doesn't want to tell people that she's ill. I guess. Have you got anything good for sort of sale? Thing. Nothing that would interest you currently, but I get new things in all the time. If you check back later, I'll let you know when I've got something you'll like. Fair enough. Okay, so like, like all these adventure games, you, you mouse over things, everything in, in the screen to see if, if you can interact with it in any way, and, and, you, and you go through all the chat options of everyone. That's just the way it works. <laughs> Do you know anyone around here named Danton? Danton? Doesn't sound familiar. Sorry. I guess you could just skip straight to the Danton bit, but... Goodbye, Amy. Come you back anytime. You may miss something important. Mm. The speakers. I'd love to be able to... Yeah, she doesn't like the speakers. Uh, I'm not interested in any... I don't customer. like to be interrupted when I'm shopping. I doubt this person does either. Okay. Okay, let's go down the alleyway. So Clem, I'm assuming that they've all, all these guys got names. I'm assuming that we know them in some way. There's also a door. What's on the chalkboard? Is it a restaurant? No. Hmm. Okay, is that some sort of code? I'm not <laughs> interested in this stuff. I've got my mother's old set at home. Hey Clem. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? How's business? Traffic in this alley isn't exactly bustling. Yeah, but people know where to find me. I'm not starving, so I suppose I'm doing okay. Why don't you move to a better location? I've got my reasons. I'll take your word for it. What about you? Repair business going okay? Yeah, I'm taking a little break for now, but it's been steady. Hey, as long as life's cozy, you do what you want. All pretty clean cut in, in this apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic world, I have to say. Um, Clem there looks like Got anything good available it. today? I glazed Barbershop. some of the bowls I made from the abandoned terracotta near the salt flats. Ah, look at how they shine in the light. That's lovely, but not really my style. If I had a food voucher for every time somebody told me that... Maybe if you had something with more color? Yeah, I know. It just ain't so easy getting colored glazes. If business is bad, I don't want to waste them on pots that won't sell. I wonder why Clem's down here, why he, why he insists on staying in this spot. There must be some reason. I'm looking for someone named Danton. Hmm. The name sounds familiar, but... But what? What? I don't know if I could be of much help. Maybe if you had some more information. Are you sure you can't tell me anything about Danton? Sorry, Amy. I don't think I can. Maybe if you had something else besides just the name. Okay, well, See you later, pretty big thing. Take care of yourself, Amy. Does there seem to be anything else here we can interact with? <clears throat> hmm. Just some gobbledygook. Let's check out the door. I wonder why Clem, Clem likes is staying here. I have a girlfriend in one of these places. Danton, you in there? No, I guess not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clem has a hard enough time convincing people to come into his alley. Taking this sign will only make it worse. Clem's what? Clem's pot. I wish this thing would Clem's get updated. Pot. So we've got a Reaper cultist. Let's go and talk to this crazy guy. Young lady, have you made peace with yourself and loved ones? Death is coming, and we must be prepared to welcome it with open arms. What? The Reaper patrols the skies in search of the next Chosen One. Will it be you? I don't think it will. Do not be so quick to dismiss him. Was there something in particular you wanted? I really should be going. So be it. Mm. See, true to tradition, the, the evilly guys have got an English accent. Just want to point that out for you. It's in no condition to be operated, and it looks like it's already been completely scavenged for parts. 
I wonder who the uh, re I wonder if the, the Reaper is actually they're talking about death himself. I wonder, or I wonder if there's some the evil people who are you know the the, ba the bad guys who are at the top, kind of come and snatch people in some some ship from the sky or something. Well, well, look who decided to stop by. Nice to see you too, Gus. How can I be of service? The farm holding up all right? Not so great. We've been having a pretty rough year so far. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm not sure how we'll recover, to be honest. I'm not even sure how much longer we'll be able to keep doing this. Might have to close up shop and head somewhere else. I wish Pop hadn't been so stubborn and invested in one of those automated farmhands. We could have been nice and comfy doing government work. And you could have gotten in on the action and fixed them for us when they broke. How come you never offered to repair stuff for the aristocrats, anyway? I apply every week, but they just don't want me, I the guess. Aristocrats, okay. It's fine. They, they rich, I get by with my freelance repairs. Yeah, well... Is Gus her brother? I wonder. He was in the, there was a couple of guys in the picture, wasn't there? I wonder if one of them was Gus. What's on sale today? See for yourself. Stock's a bit limited, but I've got this chicken and some slabs of meat. They're a bit scrawny, but salt and dry them and they should last you a fair bit. See anything you fancy? It all looks nice, Gus, but I haven't got anything to trade. Could give you something on credit, you know that. Yeah, I know. I appreciate the offer, but I'm okay. I'll come back if it's been a few days. Don't let it get to that point if you can. It's not healthy. You need to eat. You're starting to sound like Mariska. Do you okay. know someone it's called Danton? Danton? Dude. Come on. Danton? Never heard of him. Oh. Sorry. See you later, Gus. You bet. Thanks, Gus. Okay, what we got with our customer? Statue. Dad told me this thing was built years before I was born. I think it's called the Ideals of Man. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't tear down the banner. People need to know where to get water. Oh, okay. So is it to the well. Okay, well, one more guy here called Denby looks a bit. I say one hi, more guy. Oh, hi, Denby. oh uh, hi, Amy. Is this her other brother? Or the other person who was in the picture? What are you up to? Oh, you know, standing, breathing, the usual. So, what's that behind you then? Oh, that? Just my latest piece, in the works. Another art project? Yeah, I need to take a break from forging handwriting. It, it, it pays the bills, but doesn't feed the soul. <laughs> Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Anyway, I've got this chalk, so I'm trying to like, think of something funny to put on the wall. I just haven't gotten any good ideas yet. Where did you get that chalk, anyway? I made it. You made it? Yeah, from Marichka's dandruff. Gross, but <laughs> effective. Quit messing around, Denby. Fine. You promise not to tell anyone? Promise. Okay, well, I was scavenging around Fripp Square, and I broke into one of the classrooms at the fancy rich kid school. Denby! There wasn't anyone around. It's not like they'll miss it. I swear, Denby, I am not pulling your ass out of jail. I know what I'm doing. Besides, they deserve it. People are starving out here, and the aristocrats are just sitting around powdering their wigs. I never think bad. There's always a, there's always a higher class, isn't there, in all of these scenes? Uh, the bad guys. Um, when you think of things like Hunger Games and all those kind of things. So, do you need all that chalk? Can I have some? Sorry, Amy, I only have one piece, and I need it to finish this drawing. Not even a tiny little bit? I can't. You want some? Help me break into the place next time. Next time? Uh, I mean, never again. Ever, ever. <laughs> I guess, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess when you've got just normal people starving and dying and whatnot, you, you need a... You need the well-offs, don't you? Uh, to rail against, I guess. I think I have an idea for your drawing. Really? What is it? Got some two, two golden funny hair. A stink lines. <laughs> um, do we want him to do any of those? On no, I'll, second I'll wait. thought, I'll get that. back to you on that. Okay. Hi, Denby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. Uh, okay. Do you know Danton. of someone called Danton? No. That's a pretty stupid sounding name, if you ask me. <laughs> okay. See you later, Denby. See you, Denby. See ya. So we can go to the well. Feels like only half the stock is rotten. That's a nice change from the norm. 
There's a guy just walked past with a cool red-headed beard there. So, cool red-headed beard, cool, a cool hair and a beard, red beard. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello. How's the day treating you so far? Well enough. Luckily, the guard bell hasn't sounded today. I get so upset when they come through here. Have they been coming through here a lot lately? A bit more than normal. It makes me so mad. I know, it's annoying. But just try to forget about it. As long as they don't bother you, it doesn't matter. Not sure, but I'm not sure how anyone else used to play adventure games. I was quite methodical. I would never go to the point, to, 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 to your main kind of point straight away. Because <clears throat> I found quite often, if you did that, you would lose the other sort of chat options. So just out of habit, I, I go for everything first and then... I'm looking for someone named Danton. Get, get to the point Do you know end. who that is? Danton? Hmm. Danton. No, never heard well, of that person Marishka doesn't before. know who he is, Who is it? That's well, what I'm trying to find out. Like, we well, good luck to you. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, alright? Exit. There's the guy with the beard again, the red hair and the beard. Cool. Looks a bit, he's a bit, obviously a hipster. That sign has been there as long as I can remember. But as far as who Ray actually was, <laughs> I have no idea. Cool. Okay, let's check out the well. And we appear to have found Moses. By the looks of things. It's already been picked clean. The well's been filled recently. Oh, okay. I'm not really thirsty right now. But we do have a bucket. Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do so by visiting the appropriate ministry and applying for a work permit. I, I can't it, but... see any reason to lug around a heavy bucket of water. Okay, well, I thought that'd be a good idea. I should talk to Nelson if I want to read any books. Oh, he's Nelson. Interesting, like, again, again, a lot of these games have similar sort of tropes in them, I mean, ministries and stuff, I think, Attention I guess it's probably from 1984. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Okay, it's going to Doing so will save hey, lives. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Super beard, like him already. Have you had many visitors today? You're the first, but the day is still young. I'm sure someone will come along. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to sell your books? Knowledge should always be free, Amy. Anyone can borrow what I have. Remember, if you ever want to take a break and enjoy a book, you're welcome to. Have you got Lord of the Rings? Could you tell me what it was like before the bombs? Yes, of course. It's always nice to recall the old days. On sunny days, the sky used to be a beautiful shade of blue. You remember that? Vaguely. I was only five when the bombs fell. There's a lot of photos of it in my books, so the memory isn't completely lost, but it's not quite the same. I guess the bombs, nuclear, nuclear war, I guess. I think I'd like to read for a while. for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm interested in reading about philosophy. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. I'll make sure I'm <laughs> okay. Okay, so I kind of I've read for a bit, I guess. I'm not quite sure if I learned anything, but there you go. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Okay. I think I'd like to read. Of course. I'm going to go through. I'm all interested the books. in learning something. Wonderful. See if there's anything there that. Oh, oh, the books do have pages. Okay, so it was a third world war by looks of it then. I won't read this, but I'll leave it up so you can have a look. I oh, so it's actually it's actually taking on sort of real world stuff. It's, it's not kind of like a made up world.
Okay, so um, uh, conflict over oil, petroleum, whatever. That's, uh, that's familiar. Okay, Ghost book. Hi, Nelson. Good. To I think I'd. Of course. I'd art. like to read. Wonderful. Let's do some art stuff. We might find something interesting in the books that we need to. Modern artists, Marion Bandersky. Idol. Are these all colours? Painted before he's deaf. Well, <laughs> I would guess so. <laughs> Good. I was just quickly I think I'd the, like to the, um, I'm interested in one for a sec. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. See if he knows anything about Danton. Have you heard of someone called Danton? Danton? I know a historical figure named Danton. Is that who you mean? Probably I'm no. not sure exactly. I'm looking for someone who goes by the name Danton. Ah, well, then I'm afraid I can't help you with that. <laughs> no one seems to be able to. I'll see you later, Thanks, Nelson. Nelson. I look forward to your return. Dude. A reminder to all citizens. The next in the okay, guys, I think I'll end the video here. With, uh, we're still not close to finding out who this Danton is, so we need to give the letter to. But there is a second part of the um, there is a second part of the market that we'll visit, and we'll do that in the uh, in the next video.